Oh, our food crisis is over. We have managed to locate berries. We have managed to see that they exist. And we're back. Yeah, it's been a while. And I'm sure all of you were missing my incredible, beautiful, Homestuck-esque voice. Yeah, I still remember that. Anyway, today, and maybe probably for a series because I paid for this game, we're going to be playing Niche. Niche. Ni niche. Mute. Anyway, as the tagline says, this is a genetic survival game and an early access survival game. Oh dear, the horror. That's not really a survival game as they're most uh, commonly known. It's a simulation strategy game where you have to keep a colony of these little gerbil-like critters alive and keep them safe from the horrible threats lying in the wilderness like these gophers over here. Look at his shifty eyes. Bitdefender, go away! Bitdefender is so obnoxious. It almost killed my dust playthrough. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Let's go. I'll explain the game once we get into it. I did play for like 15 minutes to test for recording and the game to make sure it actually worked. So let's go. And we are going to make the best uh, land of critters. So there we go. Critter Zopia. No, not Zopia. Topia. There we go. And wait while we think it crashes. I bought this game because I remember seeing a YouTube video of it a long time ago, and then it showed up in my Steam, like, thing, so I remembered about it. But anyway, and I'm a sucker for cute animals, so here we are. Anyway, here's our little island we have. And we start with two little critters, who are Adam and Eve. I'm sure it's really tough to guess what those are references to. Anyway, so Adam and Eve are actually randomized, so let's see what stats they have. So, for instance, Eve has two collecting, which is good. We want collecting because it gets you berries. And one strength, which is how much, how much damage she deals in combat. She also has a bunch of other stats. And all these stats are derived from her genetics, which are listed here. And you can have, uh, so if you remember biology class, you can have the phenotype, which is like this medium body, and it gives us all these stats, but also the pheno, oh, no, this is the phenotype, but you can also have the genotype. This spiky body can be transferred onto offspring, even though Eve herself doesn't have it. And similarly, uh, Adam has all these traits as well. For some reason, he always starts off with poison things. I'm not sure if that's intentional. At least for the few times I've tried it. Anyway, because we need more critters, engage for shipping. There we go. And now, with the rest of our turn, we get one turn per day, and all the each critter has a certain number of actions, which are these little gems on their chest, which you can change the color of. Yay. And we want to make the most of our, act, of our days as possible because it takes up food. So speaking of which, let's get some food. Unfortunately, that was all the food in the berry bush, which is terrible. Um, let's see. I need to keep, um, I need to keep Eve on the nest. So maybe I actually did had a bad idea. So let's send out, send Adam out exploring. We can sort of add territory to our little colony by clearing out grass. This lets us see through the area and lets us know if predators are coming. And it also adds nesting material, which I don't know how to use, but I assume it is used to build nests. 
considering that's the name of it. So now we have this guy, Kirku. Yeah. So, yeah, he's inherited traits from his mother and father, and will be a new addition to our little colony. So let's look at his stats. Um, actually, he's not that good, considering he only has one strength and one collecting. But, oh well. We can also rename the little critters, so if you want a name in the game, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I can add it. But for now, I have Wikipedia open on a different page, and we're going to just uh, select random articles and see what that gets us. So, uh, Kirku, you are no longer Kirku, but you are Nathaniel. See, uh, comfort. There we go. Now, we need to spend the rest of our actions. Now, Eve can actually leave the nest. It might be a bad idea to leave the baby unprotected, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. So, let's clear out this stuff. There we go. Uh, we can wait for the berries to be girl war before we have to spend actions collecting them. What is this? Oh, camouflage. Mm. Oh. Was that? I think that was a bunny thing. Okay, I think that's a new nest we can use. So let's end the day. We are sort of running a bit low on food. Too young to collect. You can only just move. A little. How much? I think the green ones are what's on it, so because you have two collecting, uh, you can grab both of those. And now clear out more. And we should probably look down there. Oh, there's another bunny thing. Sorry for all the coughing. Oh, what's that? Uh, I need to actually move the camera. It's a mole! Stag mole! Murder! We've murdered it! Unfortunately, I'm out of action, so I can't collect the food. Uh, Nathaniel, you should probably move off of the nest. Just so it's available. For someone else. Alright, can we now grab the food? Heap of meat. Yeah, because we're all running low on food, so click that. Four? Four food! Yay! And what's your... Cl your collecting is only one, but you are fast. Okay. So, I guess, um... No, we still don't have enough food. Oh, enough berries on there. We need to find more berries. Ideally. Like, I'm not sure if we can support another critter. Uh, so let's clear away there. And move down here. There's another nest, but... Regrowing grass. On the rock? Oh, I guess the rock, the grass on the rock just comes back. Because we can't actually move onto the rock. Can you clear away grass? Yeah, get to that. Um, so now move up there. Oh, can you also s I'm not sure if you can, like, see further or something. Oops. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Root. Yes, give me that. I got one. Oh boy. Hello. So, how combat works in this game, if I remember correctly, is that you don't actually damage things exactly. You reduce their life expectancy. So, as you can see, uh, Eve has 14 days to live, but if she takes damage, that little red bit right there is going to increase, and once it reaches the white, and the white's going to increase naturally, she dies. And we're going to be very sad. 
So Adam, who has three strength and venomous, you can kill it in the name of justice. Okay, so yeah, that reduced it. And you're now poisoned, so maybe we can just run away. You can move two. How far can Adam move? Well, the thing is, I don't know how many actions it has. So it might be better just to have everyone attack it. Yeah, let's just have everyone attack it, especially because Adam has one defense, so that should be fine. So now you've got six days left. But I think if Eve attacks it, it will not die. So you just keep exploring. Hmm. Um. I know that. Bit Defender! Seriously. I know that if you kill these things, they give you meat. You know, I wish I had. Okay, reduction due to damage, 9 days. So. Depending on how much damage poison deals, we should be fine. I think I'll move. I think I'll just clear away more grass. I'm not sure what that was. Okay, so you took two damage and you have three days left. So if you just attack, it has been slain. And we get a ton of food. Uh, so now, now we might want to increase the colony size, that might be a good thing to do. Oh, there's no little island in this map. In some of my other maps there were little islands off the shore that I, I could go to. So yeah, we could use this nest over here. Like I should save this grass to be cleared out for when Eve's there. So, clear away that, and you can, wait, this isn't actually grass, it needs to be cleared out. You can go up here, ooh, yay! So, but there's no berries on that bush, which is unfortunate, so let's just clear it out. And yeah, as I suspected, oh, the grass came back. Okay, well, yeah, let's move there, and do I want to use Eve's action or Adam's? Use Eve's. Something else I think I haven't mentioned yet is that on this uh, panel, we have all the different, um, all of the different, like, phenotypes we've seen, or have access to, and we can use our magic to increase the mutation chance of something just randomly occurring. So I have antlers and big nose because those seem like statistical upgrades compared to not having them. So that'll be fine, even though that's not how evolution really works, but whatever. Clear away all this, and... Uh, we don't want to clear away that because it's just going to grow grow again. Can we go to, down to the flowers or something? Yay, another berry bush, but it has nothing. Oh. Uh, what's your... Do you have a digging stat? You have one. Dig it. And... Clear that. Okay, so now we get to go to another Wikipedia page. Uh, so before I'm even, before I even look at your stats, ooh, three collecting, that's good, um, and spikiness, 
you are going to, well, I guess we did look at his stats. You are going to be Anthemius of Trellis, Trails, whatever. Maybe naming things Fishing Tail. Huh. Maybe we'll, we can get down to the shoreline or something. Maybe naming them after, uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, that's just for the tutorial. Which is kind of terrible, honestly. Clear. Clear. Oh, you can move down into the flowers. That might be good. Uh, how much food is on that bush? And how much can it hold? It looks like it can hold three, so... Was a rabbit. Uh, let's grab that and clear out that. Oh yay! Our savior, rain. Actually, actually, not much happened during the rain. Rain is supposed to make the make the berries we grow. You lied to me, rain. Now, is there any way we can sneak up on this thing? I think if... I think it moves when you do, so if we spend the action to move up to it, it's just gonna run away. Uh, but let's try. Oh! Nope, thanks. Your sacrifice was in vain for you, but not for me. I'm personally quite proud of your sacrifice. Um, so you can move down into checking out the river and seeing, well, this ocean, and seeing if you can fish. And we'll keep clearing that out. Ah, uh, why not factions? Oh, hello. Food! Um, how strong are you? Oh, you only have one. Seems like Adam is the only proper fighter we have. But he might also be about to die. Well, go serve your country proud. And now you're poisoned. Uh, so, what we did last time was, you have no armor, but you're also younger, so you can take more damage. If he attacks Adam, um, actually, does poison take effect on the start of the animal's turn, or at the end? Because if it takes effect at the start, maybe if we just attack... It'll die by poison before it gets a chance to attack us back. Let's try that. Die. 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 It also looks like I drew its aggro. Oh well. Uh, can you go fishing or anything? No? Maybe you can explore the flowers. How many berry? Oh, it doesn't look like there are any berries on it, but collect it anyway. Oh! I am so dumb. Oh, we were sitting on so much food. The purple berries are the ones that there are. Oh, our food crisis is over. We have managed to locate berries. We have managed to see that they exist. Nope. Ow. Are you bleeding? Yes, you're bleeding. Yay! We can lick their wounds. How oh, are you? I think poison only... Poison didn't do anything. Like, I attacked it three times and it did nothing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you... Murder it. Oops. <sighs> That's bit defender again. You... Nathaniel... Um... 
because you're fast. Actually, we can just do. We can just collect that there and then heal. There we go. But we have a lot of berries to collect. Like these. Collect those. And um, go over here. And move down there. I don't know how you fish. But I don't want this guy to get too far away from the colony, so... You're also really good at collecting, so let's move back. Um, just grab those with your actions. Why don't? Why did I get a new thing? Yay! Claws, nimble fingers. Um, not all my guys have horns yet, so. Can I get rid of this? Okay. So I think I want to keep that, but let's uh, let's get this because collecting is more of a source of food than uh, hunting is. But speaking of which, there's a new critter there. Well, not all critters. One of the bad critters. Actually, it's good to find, but. You harvest all the berries because you're awesome at that. We are now just swimming in food. In fact, move down there. Attack that. Collect that. And get another child. Engage for shipping. And... Collect more food. We want... We want to make sure all the berries have at least one, like, um, berry left to regrow, because otherwise we're just wasting potential. That we group two. Let's move back down here and grab all these. But you need to go on to a nest. Mind, mind moving over a little bit so I can get the food. Alright. Uh, is our goal just to explore the entire island? Because it looks like we can do that pretty easily. Alright, who are you? You are not Kuro Duck. You are... Server not found, because my internet connection died. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a problem if we have more uh, babies, but... For now, it's fine. Let's see. Yeah, so you move over here, and... Grab all that. Oh, oops, that's not adjacent. How long have we been going? Oh! I probably need to put a cut in. And end off this first episode. With the wonderful... Warmed up. Oh! Huh. I guess that increases their cold resistance. Oh yeah, we didn't. So let's just check their... Traits. Yay, you got antlers! So now maybe you can pass that on to other people. Anyway. This has been Nish, and we're like halfway explored with the island. So I'll see you. Actually, wait, no. Oh, wrong. No, wrong tree. There we go. And I'll see you next time.